फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट रिस्पोंडेंट रेसिस्टेड द सूट कंटेंडिंग दैट द अपीलांट हैड परचेज द सूट प्रॉपर्टी ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेंसी ऑफ हर सूट फॉर पार्टीशन एंड दैट बीइंग अ परचेजर पेंडेंट लाइट द सेल इन इज फेवर वाज हिट बाय द डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ लिस पेंडेंस एंड देयर फोर ही कुड नॉट क्लेम any right in the suit property she asserted that the suit property was not the self acquired property of the second respondent and that the suit property was purchased by her father in the name of the second respondent she denied that there was any collusion between her and the second respondent the second respondent did not contest the suit the trial court by judgment dated 6th july 2005 dismissed the appellant's suit it held that the suit property was not the self acquired property of second respondent and that there was no collusion between first and second respondents and that the appellant having purchased the suit property under sale dated 11th april 1990 during the pendency of the suit for partition filed by the first respondent against the second respondent the sale in his favor was hit by the doctrine of lis pendens and therefore the appellant did not get any title to the suit property and he was not entitled to the relief of declaration and injunction sought by him the appeal filed by the appellant was dismissed by the first appellate court by judgment and decree dated 26th march 2008 the second appeal filed by the appellant was dismissed by the high court by the impugned judgment dated 1st september 2009 by holding that appellant was a pendant light purchaser attracting the doctrine of lis pendens under section 52 of transfer of property act 1882 and therefore the courts below were justified in ignoring the purchase by appellant feeling aggrieved the appellant filed the present appeal the partition suit was decreed holding that the first respondent was entitled to half share in the properties which were the subject matter of partition suit including the suit property in the final decree proceedings an equitable division was made accepting the report of the commissioner who had divided the suit property as per the sketch resulting in approximately 3/4 of the suit property being allotted to the first respondent and only the remaining 1/4 of the suit property being allotted to the second respondent the contention of the appellant that the partition suit by the first respondent against the second respondent was collusive and that the suit property was the self acquired property of the second respondent and the first respondent did not have a share therein have been concurrently negatived the 
alternative contention of the appellant that even if the first respondent had a half share therein the division and allotment of the properties in the partition suit ought to have been made in a manner that the entire suit property was allotted to the share of second respondent to work out equities was also negatived by the courts below stop